choose your wife or this table. I mean, okay, what accessories come with this table? This time we're doing something special. We're getting sponsored. And to celebrate this sponsorship or partnership, we're gonna look at the Gwen table, the Gwen table. 10 things that are amazing about it. So we're gonna just look at 10 features that we really, really like, five each, and present to you why this table might be for you. Must be for them. Three, two, one. It fits in your living room. This table is in my living room right now and it just fits in. It just looks like a regular table and that's awesome because we're both married. We have white persons in our house. It's really hard to convince them to get this table, to put it anywhere in the house. If I would ever ask, hey, could we get a gaming table? They would look at me like I just killed a baby or something. But when you see this table, it just fits right in in any living room. It yeah. looks just great. It doesn't look like a gaming table. It doesn't, and it's really good. It's surprise. So how it usually goes with me and gaming tables? I will see that there is a Kickstarter for it or it's on sale somewhere. I will look at the price and immediately forget about it because it is never that accessible. But this one costs a little bit over 1,000 euros, which is not a little amount of money, but regular big tables cost around that and you can't play games on them. So the price is just I might even convince the wife person. Well, not after that intro. She doesn't watch these videos, I hope. Three, two, one, ease of use. To make this table into a board gaming table, you just need to press a lever here. It pops open and you remove the leaves and you have a gaming table. One of my favorite things, why it also fits in my living room, is it's really lightweight. Compared to other board gaming tables, it's easy to just pick it up and move wherever. And it's sturdy for that. I can't even do this. For a lightweight table, I would expect it to be flimsy. It's not. Well, my next best thing is liquids. Liquid. Sometimes I might be a little... Uh -oh. The game's ruined. No, it's not. In between these, they call them leaves, there is a rubber that doesn't let the liquid spill onto your game. Your game is safe. If you're lame like me, your game's gonna be fine. Three, two, one. Light accessories. One table Kickstarter now includes lights for everybody. Everybody? And you can just press one button on your mobile phone and the lights come on. Yes, you probably will think, why would I need these lights? That is what I'm thinking. As I tried out the table, I played Final Girl that we have set up here. I was sitting there at 11 p.m. all alone, listening to music and with these lights and they just make the whole difference between feeling like you're really into that game. Also any D&D &D players would just love it. It's all controlled with a power bank right there. It's easy to charge it. Four hours straight you can use them without any charge. You can also plug it in. It's a phone charger as well. You just place it on top of the power bank and it charges. Just a small features that make this table really cool. So yeah, accessories. After we're done filming, I think I'm just gonna go for a little game of Final Girl. And, you know, I'll have to refresh my uh, rulebook knowledge. And then I want my dice in a specific place so it's easy to roll them, move them around and just pass them to you if you want to look at my dice. Also, we don't like our cards to be, you know, everywhere. So I like my events to be here. And also the terror cards easily uh, just go here. Wait, you don't want them here? No problem. We can place them here. We can place them here. We can place them anywhere. Everything fits. Everything's just nice and tidy. They just announced that there will be colored trays. If you're the blue player and you have blue tokens, you can use the blue tray. So it's full of customization. You still here? Sir? Oh yeah, I'm just enjoying the features. But there is also this line where you can place any cards that you have in your hand. So your hands are free now. What? They're like Dobby, they're free. <laughs> Three, two, one. The surface. You've played on wooden tables, right? And then can't pick up the card there, not a problem here, see, easy. You will never ever not pick up a card. Can you do it with eyes closed and doing 360 at the same time? <laughs> Wasn't even a challenge. Talking about surfaces, my level up thing is about the surfaces. It's really cool feature where you can make half of it rise up. You can take this one out and it leaves this wooden surface here. But wait, that's not it. You have these dividers. You just place them underneath. And now you put 
this one back on top. If you want to play like a little card game and you don't need that surface, you want it to be on top, you could just play it here, right? Wow. You can use these to just separate the table in general. You want to play Final Girl? I want to play Shoots and Ladders. <laughs> I can do that here. Okay, we're done here. I thought you're taking this seriously. Three, two, one. Accessories again, again, again. You talked about the inserts and the accessories that come inside the table. There's a bunch of accessories that come outside the table. This thing where you can uh, put your bag on top of it. Okay. That's cool, right? Then There's these trays where you can place all the tokens and stuff like this so it wouldn't look as messy as it always does at your place. <sighs> Here we go. Well, I don't have this table yet. We're gonna show you off all, all the accessories in the B-rolls as well. There's place for everything and it's so compact and customizable. It's brilliant. And that warps into my best thing about this. It just improves your gaming lifestyle generally. It's a good looking dining table, but also a gaming table with a tons of options. It also enhances the game experience itself. Just playing the game is more fun than, you know, other than other tables. Well, that was a very bad sentence. I'm very bad. Again. One of the bad ones. Yeah, that was a very bad one, yeah. It is a great table. This is just the prototype. So they're gonna improve upon some small things here and there, but it already feels like quality stuff. Once again, thank you for watching and thank you for Geek & Son for sponsoring Board Game Hangover. And uh, you'll see more content with us playing on these tables. See ya and let us know if you have a gaming table. Yeah, check out their Kickstarter in the description. See you later.